Hi, I'm Cole Manley, and I'm a PhD student at UC Davis in the Department of History. Uh, and this past summer, uh, I worked on the Davis Centennial Seal project, uh, which was a partnership uh, between myself and the City of Davis's Arts and Cultural Affairs program, uh, which has done a lot of important work surrounding community-based art projects, cultural opportunities, and educational initiatives in Davis. Uh, so what did my work uh, look like with this partnership? So let me provide a bit of background first. So in commemoration of the City of Davis's centennial in 2017, uh, local artist Susan Shelton created a bronze seal, which was installed in 2019 in front of the Dresbach Hunt Boyer Mansion in downtown Davis, which if anyone's familiar with Mishka's Cafe is right next to Mishka's along 2nd Street. And as part of my project, I basically did two things. I tried to interpret this centennial seal through uh, a historical essay, which um, in which I talk about how the seal was created, the kind of artistic imagination behind the seal coming from Susan Shelton. Uh, and I also tried to create curricula for uh, local elementary and high school students uh, for them to be able to interpret the seal and better understand the history of their town. Uh, so let me talk a little bit about the essay. So in this essay, I sought to analyze the history of how the artist conceived of the seal and designed it. So that ranged from the imagery uh, that we see in the seal. Uh, and I also imagined how um, the kind of audience of the seal, how people can interact with it as a public history installation. Uh, and, and think about what sorts of questions the seal raises for the future of Davis as a city. I think particularly today, this was um, an important project and a relevant project because uh, the general public is becoming a lot more interested in the history of monuments and memorials. We've seen with the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement uh, and many organizers who have highlighted the um, astounding number of uh, pro-Confederate and Confederate memorials and monuments, not just in the United States South and former Confederate states, but across the US. And from this, uh, this kind of movement, I think we've seen um, renewed attention uh, about how we're remembering the past and how we're memorializing it. Uh, and so I wanted to, in my work on the Centennial Seal, uh, and in talking with Susan Shelton and others uh, who worked on the project, really be attentive to these sorts of politics and questions about how the past is remembered and what it can be used for. So I found it interesting in talking with Susan Shelton, uh, the artist, that she made a point of highlighting a number of ideas and themes rather than a few great men or women in the history of Davis. So uh, Shelton focuses in particular on environmentalism and on conservation and biodiversity and on the efforts to, for instance, restore uh, Puda Creek, as well as the Yolo Bypass Wildlife Area nearby. Um, and, and this, I think, is important to highlight as kind of part of her artistic inspiration. Uh, I was grateful to be able to interview Shelton and John Mott Smith, uh, her husband, uh, who provided their perspectives on the seal and I also relied upon the work of many others, such as Larissa, Larissa Seiko, uh, who worked on a storytelling project based on the seal last summer. Uh, so we've now had two kind of two cohorts of, uh, of, of students uh, working on this project. Uh, and Rachel Hartsaw, my contact at the city of Davis, was also enormously helpful throughout the project in connecting me with local teachers and with Shelton and uh, Larissa, among many others. So I think uh, to conclude my sort of reflections on this project, I think I gained perspective on how public art installations, public history projects such as this one can really interact with the public in uh, useful ways. I think I, I'm most concerned going forward with how this curricular part of the project can best serve local students and teachers. And I hope to be reaching out to more teachers in the future to um, be able to share these resources with them and, and make them uh, useful for, for students, um, because I think the SEAL does offer this really incredible usable past um, for students who might be curious about the history of Davis and not know much about it. Um, and I think for that reason, the SEAL will have quite an enduring influence uh, in downtown Davis for the years to come. 
So uh, to wrap up, uh, you can read my historical essay and watch Larissa's video about the seal uh, by searching for Centennial Seal on the City of Davis website. And thanks again to everyone who has been involved in this project.